Hi everybody, welcome back to MD Fly Fishing. Went out to Pennine for a couple of hours on Saturday morning. Prior to that, yesterday, I went out to my club water at Ryburn, at Rippenden Fly Fishers. Same old method, intermediate line, Bibio flies. Hooked into six nice fish, netted four of them. And for the price we pay here, it's good value for money. But if you want big fish, you need to come to Pennine. And today we're using a new fly. I was using the popper owl flies. Using some of my beaded nymphs for... Uh, for getting underneath the surface and finally to get down to the bottom and hopefully hooking a bigger fish I reverted to my long leech versions the owls were first up the fish loved them but they were hitting them like they do indicators they weren't taking them decisively so using a floating line 14 foot leader degrease single owl cast it out as far as I could drew it back four inch strips slow figure of eight giving it some movement disturbance on the water and in some cases I just let it sit on top of the water. Trout do come up and attack indicators. In a way, this has got a big yellow head on it. Didn't get them in various other colours. The trout were interested. Here's a few examples of the ones I missed. Well the trout were interested in the poppers and there was lots of fish showing in this area. The popper would cause a little bit of a disturbance. Fish came up, hit the fly, I was watching the line, waiting for the line to straighten but it didn't so I thought it must have missed it. Started drawing it in and that's when I realised the fish had taken it but it was swimming towards me. Got my first fish on my first new fly. Well, this turned out to be a nice rainbow, about three, three and a half pound. Didn't want to come to the net, absolutely splashing away like mad. I was getting water all over me. Didn't have to bother about unhooking it. Fly came out soon as the fish was in the net. I'm struggling more to get the fly out of the net. And once I got it out, quite quickly, sent the fish on its merry way. After that, fish were not interested in it. That one must have gone back and told all his mates. Avoid anything with a yellow head. Time to change fly. Time to change your place of fishing. Don't stay in the same place. I've only got a couple of hours. Dam wall was available, so I decided to move around there. So staying on a floating line with a 14 foot leader, in fact probably about 16 foot this one was. Last time I fished this beaded nymph, I cast it out as far as I could and just let the weight of the bead drop the fly through the layers of water. And a fish took it last time on the drop. So I decided if it works then, it's about to work again. That's what I did and here presto, same result. I didn't only just fish these three flies today. 
I tried a Johnny H special, Eggsy Worms, under a bung. And I had a few takes, but I've not fished a bung for a long time. And I was a little bit slow off the mark. Probably had four or five takes. I just didn't strike into them quick enough. I even tried a fab floating line, existing long leader that I had 14, 16 foot. Fish didn't want to go for it. I already tried that because I'd seen them attacking a few indicators that people had had. So I put myself an orange and yellow on, thinking, well, if they go for indicators, if I drop it close enough, one might go but it didn't didn't happen for me as i've said in the past the fish here are fighting fit if you can get a three four pounder in within two minutes you've done really well hook into a 10 pounder or a 14 pounder you'd be here for a good 10 15 minutes there was a lad over by the life boy he gets here early i.e eight o'clock opening first cast penine biscuit i.e hedgehog fly 16 pounder straight on no problems the guy's renowned for catching big fish you can look through the penine facebook page i think it was posted there today the one he caught today but you go back a couple of months he's always staring in it he knows his stuff if you're thinking of coming to Pennine, have a look through the Facebook page, go to the gallery, you'll see all the fish that have been caught. And a lot of the times it will tell you what they caught them on. Now not them now them flies won't work all the time. Have a look at the month, the month they were caught in. That could give you a diary of the types of fly to use at certain times of the month. Me, I book the trend. Because a lot of the time I'll go there with my flies that I've made and I just want to catch fish on them. I don't come away with bags of 15 or 20 fish. I'm quite happy just to go there and catch five or six fish on flies that I've made. Now, fair enough. In my club water, I know what to fish, how to fish it. Anything black, red, silver, intermediate line, fished fast. But anyway, before we get onto the blue trout, which is at the end, let's land this one. So I had a couple of follows on this before I actually struck into my first fish. They were only about five, six foot deep. So I decided, because it was warm weather, some of the fish, the bigger ones, might be right down in the nice cool water. So I let it sink. That's why I've speeded up this section of the video. You don't want to be stood here watching me for a minute. Then I brought it in the roly-poly. Not a fast roly-poly, just a steady roly-poly. Didn't want to do a six inch strip, six inch strip, because you have that pause. Although it helps the momentum of the movement of the leech, I always tend to miss fish when they take it so by doing this slow momentum it's always moving fish hits it resistance straight away strike into it and that's exactly what i did here So as I'm bringing this fish in, we shall take another two minutes. Too much force on it and I won't be seeing it. It won't even be coming anywhere near the net. So I'll take this opportunity to say thanks very much for watching everybody. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for commenting on stuff, liking it and disliking it. Everybody has a choice. But this is just me and my days out. What I get up to, don't expect to learn anything. I'm learning all the time. I'm going to split myself between fishing and another hobby I have over the course of this year. I've got about 150 acres of land in and around where I live. All belong to friends, but they give me permission. I do a bit of metal detecting, something I first started when I was about 12 or 13 years old. Still like to do it. Lots of history where I live, and I don't have to pay for it. But anyway, once again, thanks very much for watching. Coming up to 5,000 views, I'm going to have to think of doing something for that. Look after yourself, everybody, and I will catch you in the near future. Oh.